but I don't know where I was going with that. I think I was actually starting to do a radio voice. I think that was an attempt at some kind of radio voice, which would have been, I think had I not short-circuited it, it probably would have been pretty bad. But luckily, I did. Let me, oh, sorry. Let me just make sure my mic settings are where they need to be. Sorry about the noise if, if that was uh, terrible. Well, happy Tuesday. It's 101 degrees where I am. And uh, from what I've read, it's 100 plus degrees in a lot of places. So, yeah, uh, Britain apparently is uh, on fire. And um, that sucks. Heat is no fun. I don't like it. I do not actually coincidentally today, earlier today, in the image that you're looking at here, the Be Right Back image, the tablet that I'm holding has a drawing I did of a musician who goes under the name of Ogre. Uh, his website, I believe, is ogresound.co.uk, if I have that off memory correctly. His actual name is Robin Ogden, but his artist name is... Yeah, well, yeah, I, well, that's true. Not something that's going to happen on this stream, thankfully, for everybody, but you're right. I mean, what are you going to do? It's not like cold. They always say with cold, you can warm up. Can't do that with heat. I mean, you can only cool down so much outside of literally dumping ice into a bathtub. Anyway, that image on the tablet is welcome, Jim, by the way. Sorry, I should have said that off the top. As you can tell, I have no twitch ability whatsoever. So the image on there is actually based on uh, an image that Robin took of himself. And I talked to him today and he's unfortunately has moved out of the city of London. So he is not uh, burning to death because, um, man, it just from everything I've read, uh, this is not temperatures anybody there is used to. I guess I, I, I told him, I said, I've, I'm not going to say I've become used to it living in Northern California because that would be a lie. But I've sort of just accepted that the summer is going to be... Wait a minute. Oh, I forgot I can reply to things. Oh, hold on a minute. Uh, oh, but I don't have the keyboard connected. Crap. Hold on. <laughs> this is so stupid. Here, you know what? Wait a minute. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Um, let me find... Uh, what's a good... I don't want to just... Here, I'll use this thing. There. There we go. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, yeah, I've, I've become somewhat accustomed to, what does that say, Vohio? Sure, that works. What do I care? I've become somewhat used to the fact that in the summer, and this, uh, you know, if you don't live in California, I don't know if they, I don't, I assume there's other places that are like this. Essentially, once you get to about, I'm going to say mid-May, now don't get me wrong, the West is in a drought, so there is no water, there's not very much rain. But right around mid-May, an interesting thing happens. And it's not necessarily every single summer all the way through, but it's been a lot of them. I actually noticed today there were clouds. And the reason that was remarkable is normally at about mid-May to, I'm going to say, end of August, mid-September, there are no clouds. None. Now, when I lived in New York, the heat brought weather. So when it get really hot, it would also get very humid, which was disgusting. But that also usually meant rain. So that's what offset the heat is you would get this, you get thunderstorms. That's what you would get. You would get these heavy thunderstorms, thunder, lightning, the whole thing, a couple hours or a couple days of rain. So the heat was kind of balanced out by the fact that you actually got storms. And so you got pre precipitation, moisture. You don't get that here, at least not where I am. Not, not, in, and I shouldn't say where I am. Northern California doesn't happen. I mean, if you're way up in the mountains or something, of course, it's different there. But here, no. The clouds just vapor. They, they, I was going to say vaporize. They vanish, and there's nothing. And then it's, it's just the sun pounding on you for about three solid months. And this is now the third day, I think, consecutive. Oh, upstate. Where are you, Jim? Where are you in upstate? Like what area? Like Albany? Are you like straight up or are you kind of like Buffalo? Where are you in New York? It's fascinating. I don't get to talk to New Yorkers that much. Not, not you know, certainly never on the stream. So, oh, Binghamton. Yeah, okay. All right, sure. Yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, see, that's the thing is, yeah, all the humidity. 
Yeah, that, but but you know what I mean, right? Because there are there are summers and there are, are hot periods of time where you get the rain. You do get the rain. You get these really, I mean, awesome thunderstorms where you can really. That's the other thing out here in California, at least where I am, and and I mean, you it's rare to even hear thunder. You don't get a lot. You get some lightning a little bit. Don't get a lot of thunder. You don't get those really nice thunderstorms. The rain just kind of shows up and it rains and it goes away. Not very fun. It's not not exciting. Like thunderstorms are fun. They're fun if you're not a dog. They're fun for people because, you know, boom sounds, lightning. It's like a show. It's a good time. Um, you know, unless you get hit by lightning. But outside of that, it's a good time. So, yeah. No, it, it you know, it, the summer out here is just, it, it is miserable. But now I'm sort of used to it, so I just anticipate it. But yeah, this is now the third day of 100 plus heat. Dry heat, certainly, but still, I don't know. The, the, I mean, yeah, it's, it's the same thing. You get enough humidity, it's worse than, than heat. Yeah, or just, than just plain, you know, 100 degree heat. Anyway, let's, uh, let's roll our little thing here. Let me do something a little different because uh, I have been working on the. Uh, let me just adjust something while I'm in the background here, just so I have my sizing right. Yeah, that looks good. I think we're okay there. Yeah, I do miss thunderstorms. I miss them. I miss good thunderstorms that, that you would once in a while break the heat. Oh, well, who knows? Maybe I'll never... 101, you just... Yeah, yeah. It's really true. It's it's just... You, I don't know. You just enter the state where all the, the priority is is try not to heat yourself up anymore. That's really what it becomes, which is an interesting existence for a while. But... Uh, Anyway, whatever. I'm not going to complain. I got central air. I shouldn't really complain, and I won't. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead, and I've been working on the eyeballs, but honestly, my favorite part of doing anything isn't really the sketch part, and it's not the color part. It's the ink part. It's the part where I can actually lay in the, the, the solid lines. That's always my favorite part. So, we're going to take a break from the bag of eyeballs, and I'm going to ink this skull, because now I kind of have an idea what to do with it. I already had an idea to do what to do with it, and I still may use this image in that other one, but then I just had something that occurred to me, because if you've tuned in before, tuned in, if you've tuned in, you don't tune in a stream, if you've caught the stream before, ah, that's a good one, not that you can catch it, it's not flying, but I, I like t-shirt ideas, and I have an idea for this skull, so I'm going to ink the skull, because I think I can... I have a, I have a, like a little stable of skulls that I use in multiple different things because they just apply. Not that I'm even overly fond of skulls the way some people are. I know some artists who just do skulls all the time. By the way, hold on a minute because I realize there's a smudge that's going to bother me. It's not going to bother you because you can't see it. But let me just clean this for two seconds. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Luckily, the, you know, the video doesn't pick the smudge up, but I can see it and then it's going to just irritate me. So anyway, all right, here we go. So this is going to be simple. I just I kind of just like the way the shadow lines in this thing lay out. So we're going to need this is a 24 by 24 inch canvas. I want this image big. Uh, what I will probably do. So what we're working with here is 32 layers, as you can see right there. So not as many layers as I usually have, but this is a relatively simple image. And we're just going to be doing some construction on it as we go. So we're going to need a pretty thick line because this is a big canvas. So that. That is way that is way too small. That that will absolutely not work. Something just popped off on my screen. Was it an update thing? Yeah, it probably was. It was probably a thing saying there was updates. Oh yeah, it's the Photoshop updates. Those can wait. I'm not doing Photoshop updates right now. All right, so let's jump this up to let's see how ten looks. Ten's good. Hmm. Is ten good or is eight good? You know what? Let's go with ten. I want a relatively thick line here. Okay. So we're gonna do this in parts because this is how I do all my stuff. So we're going to start with the, what I'll call the outer outline of it. So let's just, and we're just going to make sure I'm on the right layer and we'll just trace over my lines. And we're going to just do this stuff in parts because it's easier. So we'll just keep, you know what I will do is let me fade out. It doesn't have to be quite that bold, but you can still see it. Knock it down to a 25%. That way it's easy to see the lines. Only, 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 only bad thing about this is I never quite get these lines to look seamless. But honestly, 
at the size this image will ultimately probably be. It's not going to matter. And in fact, I'm going to do something a little different. I'll join the lines later. Let's get the big lines in. Let's get these lines in so that we've got the big framework there so we can get into the shadows because that's going to be the fun bit. The shadow stuff is actually going to be the fun bit. But this is really my favorite part is when I've got something and I'm like, okay, now I get to really bold it in. And see, I'm not worrying about lines running off because I'm going to do this across several different layers. So it's really not going to matter. So let me think about how I want to do this. Let's go ahead and put a new layer in. Oh, we got a new layer. So now we'll do the jawline. And we're going to try to do this in almost one whole step, at least to the tooth. So here we go. Sometimes this works, sometimes it don't. So we're going to see what happens. All right, I'm going to stop talking for a minute because I'll just concentrate. Give me a second. Okay. Okay, now I've obscured my finger, but I'm okay. I can see it. All right, good. Perfect. Nope, that's good. We're going to leave that. And since this is still jawline and this is going to get covered anyway, we'll do that. That's the inner jawline. And we need to do the cheek line or whatever we're calling that. So let's go ahead and shoot on another layer. And let's, hmm, I guess it's really not going to matter. Well, let me think. Did I double X or single X that? I single X that. So, yeah, that's going to be okay. We're going to go ahead and just do this in one big swoop here too. Okay. Whoop. All right. Wait, do I want that curve? You know what? I'm fine with that. That curve's all right. We're not going to worry about it. And then we'll do one more. We're going to do the eyeball sockets and the nose socket. Not nose socket. The, what is it? What do you call the area where your nose go, goes? I don't, I don't know what that would actually be called. Not nose socket. Nose cavity? Nose cavity. That's it. Okay. So I don't know why I, was, I just couldn't come up with cavity as the word for what, where your nose is. So let's go ahead and do this. And we'll do, and I'm going to stop there because I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to clean that up a little bit. So let's go ahead and clean this up now so that we can just do it in one shot. There we are. And we'll fold that in right there. That'll work. We can, we can, we can work with that. And now we'll do our second eye socket. Okay. So we'll start here and we will follow this relatively not worrying about being too exact with this it's not a big deal stop there so you can see where my little lines they kind of bend a bit so oh, that's not an eraser cut those and now we'll solder those together like so oh oops let me get rid of the little dot thing i got there by dot by dot and we'll do one more layer since i've got so many available Switch back to our pen, and now we'll do the nose, and the nose, we're just going to generally follow the lines, but not worrying about following them exactly. Ooh, I don't like that line at all. Ooh, that line is way too wiggly for what bone would be, so we'll just go ahead and do that, and we'll seal that right there. Okay, there we go. All right. Okay. So now let's go back to our initial layer. Let's clean up these gaps. There we are. Seal that one. Yeah, so you can see where the line kind of goes down. We'll clean that real easy. And we'll just bring this straight across, more or less. Okay. And let's finish this. Jeez. Oh, it's like the blunt end of a piece of spaghetti. What's going on with that? That's no good. Okay. Pretty sure a friend of mine. There's a university up in Binghamton, isn't there? Isn't there Binghamton University? Am I misremembering that? I know there's a lot of different schools, so. I thought there was one up in Binghamton, because I sort of remember a friend of mine going up there, but I could I could be wrong. I could have that wrong. Alright, let's do that right there. Let me make sure that's the right hold on a minute. I screwed that up number one, but yeah, that's the right one. Okay. Yeah, Binghamton. SUNY Binghamton, isn't it? God, I can't remember now. Can't remember. 
Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and just go ahead and erase that since we're right here. All right. Now we got to do the teeth. Okay. Let's get some teeth lines in here. So let's see here. This is an independent layer, so I'm not going to worry too much about this. And we'll just, I'm not even going to really worry too much about following the teeth exactly. It's not utterly vital if I do or not. Just kind of get the general shapes right. And everything else will be fine. Yeah, okay. Just kind of let these form into each other a bit. Do, 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 do. Give that little gap there on that tooth. We're gonna have a little space. Now, see, that's that's no good though. So we're gonna do this, and we have a little bit of space there. Fold that in there. All right, let's go. Let me make sure I'm on the right. Yes, I'm on the tooth layer. You know, I wonder if I should use a different weight for the teeth. Should I use a different weight for the teeth? You know what? I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to use a different weight on the teeth. Let's knock down to five. Just so that I can get a little bit more. Well, that's not. There we go. Did I not? Did I knock down the. I did. I did the eraser further down. I just want to have a little bit of more of like a little more space around these teeth. I can do thinner lines. You know what I'm going to do too? Is I'm going to take that out entirely. See, now I can see it better which benefits me because I want I want the teeth to have a little bit more space so we're gonna go ahead and just use a thinner weight on it and we'll crinkle the teeth a bit and this way I, I can get space a little bit easier it gives me a little bit more area for being able to do detail stuff it's just generally a good idea I think to give the a lighter weight on these teeth here and I'm not as I said I'm not really too concerned whoops about making everything exact you know I can vary the teeth shapes and structure a little bit it's not gonna hurt nothing because who cares it's my image I can do what I want as Bob Ross says it's your world do what you want so we'll give these teeth a little bit more texture to them a little bit more definition you know give them some I mean they they wouldn't be in great shape in a skull anyway so we'll just give them a little bit of pitting a little bit of shaping that type of thing yeah yeah okay I like the way that's coming out that's good so we'll keep going here and uh, let's see I finished the, I just finished last night as a matter of fact the new resident evil series on netflix which i liked and and apparently it's done very well i i actually uh will be recording a podcast episode because i'm really I, i'm genuinely shocked at the fact that it apparently has done really well not because i think it's a not because i think it's a bad series i'm just it didn't seem like anybody cared about that show. It didn't seem like Resident Evil fans were particularly interested in it. It didn't seem like, you know, when the trailers came out and everything, nobody seemed all that excited about it. So, honestly, I, I just, I'm sort of astonished that, I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm not that surprised because I actually think the show is well made and I liked it. But nobody seemed to really, oh, let me just turn this line off. Let me turn all the thick lines off. Nobody seemed to really think it was going to be any good. And I read some pretty harsh reviews of it, so I went, okay, I guess, you know, I guess the consensus is this thing is no good. I watched it because I like Lance Reddick, I believe is the actor's name. I like him, and I like the old Resident Evil stuff. I like the old zombie stuff. I know everybody likes the new stuff with Village and all. That's fine. I don't necessarily dislike that stuff, but I, I like the old classic model. The old zombie idea. Classic zombies. I like that stuff. So this seemed to be, and it really is, it's trying to thread the needle on 
sort of incorporating a little of everything. Now, I think sometimes that's to the show's detriment. There are definitely moments in the series where I feel like they had a checkbox of, you know, what do we want to include from every game in the series? And they started checking those boxes off. Uh, you know, and, and not, not enough that I think it actually really hurt the show in any fundamental way. But there were definitely moments in the show where I went, okay, somebody, and maybe it was an executive from, you know, I, I assume they had to consult with like, Capcom still owns it as far as I know because they did the remakes. So I maybe they had to consult with somebody and that somebody said, well, if you're going to do Resident Evil, we want you to include A, B, C, D, E. Possible. Possible. Um, so, but regardless, they, they, they at times put a few, too many things in at once you know because you can save some stuff for a, a second season assuming you get one but also you, you don't have to put everything in if it doesn't really make sense now that's just my opinion um you know people I, hey number one i'm just glad people are watching it because i actually kind of liked it so i'd like to see more of it and the fact that people appear to be watching it if it is in fact number two only to stranger things that's that's pretty impressive because that is the the juggernaut of Netflix. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna have to go up against something, I, I don't think anybody actually wants to go up against Stranger Things because that's that's their cash cow. Let me see, do I have any other oh the ones down here, right? So if in fact I mean I've read it several places, so I, I don't have any reason to think it's a lie, but I'm just kind of I am a little bit taken back by that because, as I said, it, it just didn't seem like people that I talked to who like Resident Evil were all that excited about it. Um, I don't think anybody really outright hated it, but I think there was, you know, there's, there's a bit of franchise fatigue there. You had how many movies with Mila Jovovich, which, please do not misinterpret that as a complaint. I would... I'll watch as many movies of that as she wants to make. I don't care if they're good or bad. Truly do I not care. But they went from that to they did that new movie not too long ago, which I watched and I reviewed on the show, and I enjoyed it. I thought it was good. Not great, but good. I thought it was, you know, trying to do some interesting stuff. Which is always to be encouraged with movies now because nobody wants to take a chance or do anything different of any kind it seems anymore so i i liked the new movie but that one too I, I don't remember it having really good reviews i don't know if the director or the the team behind the movie has any plans to make a sequel i have not heard anything i didn't look at how much money it made so i really don't know if it bombed or not or actually it was on netflix so i don't think it, i don't think that one came out in theaters i think that was still i think that was a pandemic film so I don't think that got a theatrical release. Pretty sure it didn't. You know, I just realized there's no tooth line right here. I guess I neglected to make one. There, there's one now. Um, so I don't, I doubt it had any kind of box office because I don't think that it was released in the box office. Uh, there it is. That's our teeth done. There we are. Yeah, those teeth look good. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and combine these teeth. I don't need to keep these separate. I don't believe because I like them. We're gonna go ahead and combine them. But yeah, I'll, I'll keep the top and the bottom separate just in case for some reason I need to do anything like that. Yeah, that's fine. So yeah, I like the series. I thought it was good, and you know it ends on a cliffhanger, so I will warn people of that. But it does appear that it's done well enough that they're maybe a sequel i i hope there is i really get annoyed when series get canceled and they don't have a follow-up if they've left on a cliffhanger which unfortunately now everybody does every series is geared to have a sequel even if we know that many of them won't a little bit of an annoyance pet peeve of mine i'll admit i don't like it i think you know if you're gonna if you're gonna have a series that's gonna have a cliffhanger then the Whoever backed it should commit. At the very least, I'll say this. At the very least, whoever backed that project, whether it's Netflix or Amazon or whoever, whoever it is, 
Oh, I need to. That line needs to get adjusted. Whoever it is should commit to at least having a movie to be able to finish it out. I understand if a, if a series does badly and you don't want to support it, but there's always going to be people who watch whatever it was and enjoyed it, and it's really crappy when they don't get some kind of resolution to it. I, I really dislike that. I've talked about this on the show many times, so I won't go on about it too long. But, as I said, the surprise here is that it seems like that seems like the show was well received and, and had people watching it. So I I hope that means a sequel because they definitely did leave it off in a I mean in a huge cliffhanger. It's not even a, a minor cliffhanger, it's an immense cliffhanger. So yeah, I'd like to see where the story goes, please. So that's like I said, I'll take that as a positive. The fact that it does appear to have had a good viewership, but I am surprised by that as well at the same time because yeah, it just didn't seem like anybody really cared. And some of the reviews I read were not friendly towards the film, which is normal. I mean, it, you know, that's, that's okay. But it, it made me think, okay, well, you know, if some of these bigger outlets don't like this movie, then people, for whatever reason, pay a lot of attention to these big reviews. And so if the reviews are bad, they tend not to watch things instead of actually just watching them and deciding whether they agree or not because... Well, I'm sorry, but movie reviewers don't always know what they're talking about. I mean, not, not the one. They like what they like and they dislike what they dislike, but that doesn't mean everyone will have the same reaction. All right, let's knock the nose down, put that together. Let's put the skull together, layer wise. There we are. Okay. Well, we have a skull. We have the initial layout of our skull here. So now. We go underneath. Let's knock the pen down to a five again. That's the eraser, moron. You are on the eraser. Okay, let's knock the pen down to... Actually, I need to go under five. I'm going to go to three. Let's take a look at three. Let's see what three... Is three distinct enough? I don't I need to go to two. Hold on. Actually, wait. Let me think about this. Yeah, let's do two. Let's do two. Two's, yeah, two is definitely small enough. Okay. So now, now we'll start laying in our, I'll call them uh, gradation breakdowns. Because this is probably going to be monotone. I don't think I'm going to do color, at least not initially. So we're going to go ahead and put some of these things in here. And what I actually should do as well, hold on, is in the background, let me... Oh, that's way too big. Let me move that down to maybe 10. And I need another layer. Yes. I'm just going to do the big X. You know what I'm going to do is actually instead of an X. Actually, I'll do an X for black and I'll do a circle for gray. So big X. Because uh, double X's are meant to be pure black. That's what the, the key is for this. Key meaning, you know, like guide to how it's laid out. Yeah. Okay. This brush is going to be ridiculously too big. Let's go to this guy. Let's do an X. Actually, if I'm going to do that, I might as well just use this pen. X, X, X. Single X I'm not going to worry about right now. Worry about double X's for right now. Double X. Okay, because the single X is going to become a circle. That means gray. X, X, X. Circle. X, X. X. No, no, sorry. Circle. X. I think that's meant to be an X. I think. That is for sure. That is for sure. Circle. Circle gets the square. Circle. X. Circle. X. Oh, no, sorry. Circle. I'm fooling myself with my X's. Should have thought of this when I did it at first. X. And again, X is going to be straight black, pitch black. What's that? Uh, what's the name of that black? The 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 Vandermeer black or whatever they called it. The one that absorbs light. I think that's gonna be the circle. Ah, oh, I know what the name of it is too, and I can't think of it. It's got a cool name. Anyway, whatever it is, that's what the that's what the X's are gonna be. Pure black, jet black. Black as midnight. Black as a witch's heart. Blacker than 
I don't know, Hitler's withered conscience. I don't know, the blackest thing you can think of. V Vander? No, can't remember. Anyway, okay. All right, back to our lines. So let's do some craggy lines that are going through here. These are going to be a real pain in the neck. I'm going to have to do detail on them, but you know what? If I'm going to start doing things just because they're easy, they're not going to look good anyway. So we'll put some cracks in there since that's black anyway. With this, we can lay in the same the same lines. Let me put a crack that way. Just to get a little bit of character, we'll kind of jag some of these lines a little bit. Make them look a little bit lightning bolty. And we're going to do the same thing where I'll do multiple layers here so that, you know nothing is crossing over. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that works. Okay. Crag that out. Crags, not jags. Crags. Crag's a great word. A crag. C R A G. What a great word. Into the crag. You fit into the crag in the side of the mountain with no seat at the end. Crag. Great word. Ah, great word. Crag. There's such great words in different languages. English for all the people. Complain about it does have some really beautiful words as part of it. Great, great, great word. Crag is one of them. I like crag. All right, now here we go. This we're going to do in a continuous thing. We're just going to kind of, you know, do, do, do little just jaggy lines to do a little thing there where it comes in. And there we go. It just it just gives it this textury effect. I mean, there's, there's a benefit to smooth lines. Don't get me wrong. I use smooth lines a lot. But sometimes, I mean, when you're talking about something like this where it's supposed to be an old, bony thing, that's where, okay, not that because I screwed that up, but let's just, I knew that when you're doing with small lines, that's going to be a very common occurrence. But the idea of making the lines not smooth, I've made the lines smooth that define the skull, the outline. But these inner lines, yeah, these inner lines, I want to have a little bit more of a kind of jumpy quality or a craggy, craggy. What a word, crag. So useful. A craggy quality. I want a crag. These will be a little straighter because I'm kind of making these shadows. So, And I'm going to do a secondary thing on that, so that's not going to be the shadows inside the teeth either. I will not go on the same layer. But that will probably be something to save for the next time. But I, I'm already having just a good time with this. Just making these lines. This is fun. It's fun stuff. Once in a while, and it, it doesn't matter whether it's a skull. I like doing hands too sometimes. Um, different, different things, depending on how they're aligned and laid out, can have different kind of appeal. I don't know how else to put it. And this one, I just, I've just been kind of thinking about this one since I did it. X, X, X. Um, I just kind of want to, I just want to draw this one. Like this one's a, this one's one I'm looking forward to drawing. So, so I was like, ah, I know I was in the middle of the bag of bone, uh, bag of eyeballs. And we will get back to that. Don't worry. I won't forget about the eyeballs. Actually, sometimes the drawings I take forever on tend to be ones I actually end up liking a lot later on. You know, there's no real point in rushing it. I mean, there is, there isn't. What's the, what is the benefit of the proportional response of you know, rushing something like this. There isn't one. You know, the fun is in actually doing it. Once it's done, you're just looking at it, which is fine. As an observer, that's good. I like looking at finished artwork. Uh, but when you're actually making something, the fun is in making it, I think. So, you know, there's really no reason to rush the process. Plus, if I just do every drawing in a single video, there's really going to be, I'm going to run out of things to be showing you after a while. i got to fix that. That's no good down there. Actually, wait, you know what? Yes, it is. Ta-da! Took a mistake. It made it into something. Okay, so let's see. I just want to make sure I don't go over any of my, I don't want any of my lines to go over themselves. So I have to be slightly careful with this. Um, just, oh, actually, we're okay there. I can have a sharp point. I don't. I don't mind sharp points. I don't have too many of them in this image, but I don't. I'm not against them. Let's say it like that. Okay. Now I need to create a second layer because now some of these are going to get really close together. So and and in fact will overlap. So rather than have a problem, 
and you know have to redo something later I will just do this and see that way I can go clean that line up later and even though technically it does impact on the other line it'll be very easy to, to take it back out because it's on its own layer okay let's do this little thing oh whoa, 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 I gave that crack a butt gotta take that out that's coming out there we go okay let's take a quick look we'll do these little ones I believe my dog has let go of a bit of gas so if I collapse on the stream you'll know why it's okay she can do that I just have to hope that my nose can take it okay so let's do this guy up here I'm gonna do a little bit of a cut out there just to get a little bit again just indications of texture and difference in what's happening see little stuff like that you just you don't want to just have everything look the same so you just do little weird interruptions in it little little staggers in the actual design the pattern and that makes it look like it's mm, I don't like that though um, makes it look like it's some kind of natural material or organic material which is what we're going for since this is supposed to be a skull okay so I believe none of those intersect with the teeth no so now we can do the teeth lines so we'll just do this I might do multiples of this but for right now we'll just do that give this the teeth some texturing Ugh, I don't like how that's coming out there we go. probably if I do it like that yeah better okay so we'll just do this very Mike Mignola type of thing here so if, if you're picking that up that's not necessarily meant to be copying but it's Mike Mignola is good at bones I can't pretend that there's not an influence of that I do like he has a, a way Damn, man I keep I keep looping that line up there we go yeah not not to compare myself to him that would be comically comically wrong and insulting to him so okay and let's do these teeth lines down here which I, I guess I won't close them because I didn't in my sketch I don't know I may reconsider that later because I think there, there's only certain teeth you know what no I'm gonna reconsider it right now problem with that is I didn't I didn't not close some of the other teeth so it's gonna be strange if they're not closed someplace plus I, I just I like sealed lines I like sealed off stuff so rather than you know screw not, rather than regret what I did later which you know I've done many times I'll just I'll just understand my own nature now and do what I know I'm gonna like <laughs> why not why not just do it the way you know you're going to want it to be later anyhow do it from the beginning it makes it a, it saves a lot of time saves me on a, a future video saying you know what i don't know what i was thinking there because i want lines on these because that's exactly what would happen so okay all of our lines are now done so now we'll do a little bit of cleanup and that will probably bring this stream to a close for this evening so let's turn off those lines turn those off and now we're only left with the lines that I want to clean up so we'll go ahead and just I'm using a small cleaner here it's cleaner eraser cleaner. just so that because these are delicate lines so I don't want to mess with them too much just enough to get rid of them there we go okay look to that side we're good there let's go ahead and turn off the penciling for one minute it makes it easier to see where the black don't like little don't want any dots of black laying around okay no that's okay okay let's see there we go a little nub there there and do that and do that and we'll clean that up and then we're going to do the same exact thing for the other lines where i'll turn these off go through and clean those up and quick look at that this all looks oh I forgot I just want to do this okay let's go ahead and take those out see with those other lines off I don't have to worry about 
seeing something that's a false intersection, for lack of a better term, and erase the wrong thing. That looks like we're good there. So let's go ahead and turn those lines off and turn these on. Jump to this, and now we'll erase these. Now I probably could use a bigger eraser with these because, you know what, actually I can, just to make it a little bit quicker. A little bit easier on me because these aren't as tight together as the other ones were. That's why you know just because you just you don't want to have to erase twice. It's good to just erase things the one time, get them where you want them, as opposed to having to erase twice. I mean, you can. It's your time. You do what you want, but I don't like having to do things twice. I do it enough without wanting to, as it is. If I have a way to minimize that. I will do it, and that's what I'm doing here. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and take that out. I'll take this little thing out. I got a little bit of a overlap of there. Got a Klingon right there. Oh, got a pair of them. Run. And oh, we got down here. Didn't do the bottom rule. Like brushing your teeth. You gotta hit all the spots. That's basically what I'm doing, is I'm doing dental work on my image. Cleaning up the teeth, taking the plaque off, whatever you want to call it. Okay. And let's see where we are here. Looks good. I don't see any. Oh, we got one over there. That's fine. Take care of you. Probably one there. Yep. Little bone tag. Quick look. Okay, let's turn on our other line. Oh, yeah, we're getting there. That is looking all right to me. Yep. All right. Well, you know what? I think we're in a good spot to stop with the uh, the skull for now. It is looking. I'm liking this already. And it's a nice big size. So I, I'm going to have a lot of flexibility with this. 24 by 24 is a nice size. So, yeah, I like it. I like it. I like it. I'm going to work out what the rest of my idea is with it, but I, I'm digging it so far. Um, I, I got I got one other, I got a couple little things I want to work out, but I want to, I want to see how they look like. Uh, oh, whoa, I missed one. Hold on. Sorry. I missed one. Let's get this one right here. Let's not miss anything. Let's finish everything off before we end for the evening. Let's get it where it needs to be. Clean that up a little bit. A little jaggy is okay, but oh, that was wrong. Okay, there. There, now we got them all. Make sure our X's are in place. They are. Okay. So we will draw this to a close right here. Ah, I like it. I like it. I like where it's going. I like where it's going. We'll, we'll see where it ends up, but I'm liking it so far. And on that note, I will bring this stream to my usual end here. Close my stuff out. So I hope wherever you are, you're staying cool as much as possible because heat, man, it's, it's nothing to play with, that's for sure. So hopefully you are not in any position where you're not able to stay cool because I, I really, really hope not. That's pretty awful, and I wouldn't, I mean, overheating, heat stroke, that's, I've been, I've been in that once or twice. Not fun. I don't ever want to get back to that. So I'm very careful about hydrating and keeping an eye on body temperature. So stay cool wherever you are. Try to stay indoors. Or if you got to be outside, try to stay in shade. Or if you have a pool, stay in the pool for a while. I mean, if you don't have any reason to come out of the pool and the pool's cool, stay in it for as long as you can. Outside of that, I hope you have a uh, very nice rest of your Tuesday, whether that be morning, afternoon, or evening. Again, try to stay cool. Don't, don't, if you can avoid the heat and it's a hot place where you are, then do so. Outside of that, I will probably do a stream, I think, on Saturday instead of Thursday. I think I'm going to have a big block of time on Saturday. So, thinking I'll do some kind of stream there. Probably another art stream, although I haven't done a video game stream in a while. So, I might do one of those. We'll see. We'll see. I'll work that out by Saturday. I got plenty of time to think about that. So, other than that, have a wonderful rest of your whatever it is for you, and we'll see you again on the next stream. Take care, everybody.